All right, well, you trash reality-based combatives quite a bit, but what about Lee Morrison? It's kind of freaking ironic to me that I'm going to say all this because we hear trash reality-based combatives quite a freaking bit. You know, you all know my stance on freaking Krav Maga. Um, but I'm going to say this. The guy who actually helped coin the term reality-based combatives, Mr. Lee Morrison of Urban Combatives, is one of the doper dudes I've ever had the privilege of talking to, all right? Reality-based combatives is like a thing that's turned into something that's so stupid and so useless, really, like a lot of it is. But this particular system, Urban Combatives, is not useless. In fact, it's incredibly useful, and I think that you should be studying it. Now, quick caveat to this. I've had Lee on the program. Lee and I follow each other on YouTube. We've talked back and forth, and there is a mutual respect, okay? I know he is really all about the sheepdog community. He respects the preppers. He respects what we do, and obviously, we respect what he does quite a bit. So I sat here thinking about how to give constructive criticism on the system for like a freaking half hour before I started this recording. And you know the honest truth is I didn't find much. I've been looking into the system for a while, and next time I'm over in the UK, I freaking definitely intend on hitting him up and taking him up on the offer to go do a class or whatever. I freaking, I'm really trying to rack my brain, though, and figure out anything that I can to give constructive criticism about the system. I came up with two things. Now, number one was something that I made a video about a long time ago couple of years back about how I didn't think there was enough grappling in the system. And yeah, I know Lee teaches grappling and he he makes great points about it. Like the dude, look at him. He's got freaking cool tattoos and he's like built like a refrigerator and he's wears cool shorts and boots and stuff. He, he just, he looks like he could just destroy somebody. He can actually, that's the funny part, but I don't think that there's enough grappling in the system just simply because there is so much, uh, so many grapplers nowadays. There's so many guys studying jujitsu, 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 uh, judo, 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 you know, wrestling, 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 MMA, all that. So <clears throat> I feel like there should be more of an emphasis put on that stuff, like reality based grappling, right? Uh, reality based, like street grappling, like how to split a guard by hitting him in nuts, all that type of stuff. The other thing that I can think of, and this is a new constructive criticism, is the running away. Okay. You guys know that for me personally, I view hand-to-hand -hand combat as close with and destroy the enemy, that type of deal, right? And I get it. There's a lot of times where you're going to need to run away. But for me personally, I don't like to practice it. I don't. I feel it's like not good for warrior ethos and warrior development. Right? That's just how I feel. That's the only two things that I can say that are constructive criticism on this system. Otherwise, freaking, like, if you ever have a chance, go and train, um, especially, like, with Mr. Morrison himself. I think that that's the best. If you want, like, the pure spring water, then go to the spring and get it. Don't buy it in the bottle, right? Now, that's not to say UC's got a lot of schools set up, like, around the world, okay? I know I follow um, the UC, I think it's in the Netherlands. There's a couple of other UC, like, around the world UC schools that, like, I would highly recommend you go and train with them. But um, I always say it's better to go right to the source. And if you can ever get over to the UK or if he's ever traveling and go, go train with Lee himself, I would definitely recommend it because he's one of those dudes that, and there's not many, there's like Kelly McCann, Lee Morrison. Um, I'm trying to like freaking think here if there's any other RBC guys that I'm like really, really going to recommend. But those are the two that I can think of right off the bat. Oh, and Will from Gutter Fighting Secrets. But I really think that like there's, it's few and far between the guys who actually know their stuff when it comes to like kind of all aspects of unarmed combatives. And even like going beyond that. So I love it. I love the system. It's it's uh, ironic, but I want to say it's even, it's sad. The fact that we have to sit here and like have the discussions about reality-based uh, self-defense systems. Because there's so many guys out there who like have never fought. And then they like go out there and try to teach these systems. And it's just, you could tell, like you can always tell when a dude like kind of knows what he's talking about. And then when a dude does not and um, I, I wish I didn't have to like group all of these like systems into this 
there's plenty of other good ones out there. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not thinking of them. But there's it's sad that we have to like sit here and trash talk and then it's like say MMA is better because it is. It, it just is. Why? Because in MMA, and I've said this a billion times, you actually fight and you learn how to hit, you learn how to get hit, and you learn how to take your lumps and bruises and give them as well. Usually you'll get tired of getting lumps and bruises, and that's when you get better at giving lumps and bruises. And I think that that's really the best and only way to learn how to actually fight. The sad part is most people don't want to do that. Most people want to go hit pads, think that they're doing a good job, you know, well, this and that. But then when it comes on the street or in a bar or wherever it is, you know, inside a car, whatever, the case may be where actually you find yourself in the midst of shite going down, um, you get your face rocked in. And hopefully that's the worst that happens. But I've experienced it on the street and I've seen it personally where that's not the worst that happens. Like weapons come out and like things happen quickly and you go to the hospital and it's not good. All right. So that's why I encourage everybody to actually learn how to fight. And with UC, the thing is, like, weirdly enough, you will. <laughs> you will because Lee's been there and done it. And I think that that's the case. I really think that that's the case. Kind of like Fairburn back in the day where, like, he was teaching things because he'd been there and done it, right? And those are the dudes you want to train with. So go train with Lee Morrison over at Urban Combatives. I, I can't trash talk their system and not because I'm trying to be political, not because I'm trying to be on their good side or anything, just simply because it's a solid system with a solid uh, base on reality. And I wish that more reality-based systems could be based on reality instead of these like weird concepts that make no sense about, well, if he shoots in at you, put two thing thumbs in his eyes and twist his head. Like you've obviously never wrestled a day in your life. All right. Like, no, that's not the way it works. You're going to get dumped. All right. Or, or like, if he comes at you, then just simply, you know, chin jab him and, and put your fingers in his eyes. Like maybe that works sometimes, but what if when it doesn't work, what happens? Oh, well, you know what? The real mother flowers out there will tell you what to do when that doesn't work. And they'll show you what to do instead of just saying, well, it usually works or some other freaking crock of crap. All right, guys, until next time, please remember that you were your first and last line of defense. The link to those guys is down below here. I'll catch you next time.